When it comes to programming the IQ management system, with a, a few simple clicks of a button, we can select the site we want to program, view the current program, and make any changes to that program with a, su a few simple clicks. We can change watering days. We can change duration. We could add and remove start times. We can verify the program fits in a watering window. And we can then download that to the site. We can also configure station uh, flow rates and input information such as precipitation rates that allow for weather-based scheduling and for flow detection. The software allows us to change run times and start times as well as enter zone information and name zones um, such as location and, uh, and plant type or plant material type. We can then download this schedule to the controller out in the field and it saves us time by not having to be on site to make these changes. We can do these things remotely and this is not only saving us time but saving us money and the end result is it's saving our clients a significant amount of water. We can set up things like Flow Manager um, from one screen and with a few simple clicks of a button. For Flow Watch, once again, with a few simple clicks and any adjustments to the parameters, we can make these changes. The controller then notifies us that the change has been made and well, by simply clicking this button we can synchronize the changes made here at the computer and we can download that to the site. We can see alarms here on the desktop and quickly view those alarms. So rather than sending one of our staff to the site, uh, we can troubleshoot the problem, isolate it, and then take action. One of the features we really like is the rain delay feature, which allows us to be an active water manager and not only react to weather, but if we see approaching weather systems, we can shut down individual sites or we can shut down a whole area of the systems we manage and proactively help save our clients water. Rainbird has made it very easy for us to program custom communication cartridges such as the Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or GPRS cartridge. By connecting these cartridges to a controller and then to our computer, we're able to alter the values, configure them for the sites we need them on, and then download that to the cartridge and they are ready to go and ready to be deployed in the field.